Right blessings. This is going to be a reading in the constellation of Scorpio. So we're starting off in the past into the in, this goes into the current energy. So this is you standing back and looking at the the situation in the world and wondering what the fuck is going on. You looking around at the world and seeing all this different crazy shit take place and we're standing there trying to trying to process it, trying to acclimate it. This is also an energy where we're trying to create a new life, but it hasn't happened yet. So we're standing on the shores of our old life, waiting for the new ship to come in to pick you up, to take you off to Neverland. Right. We're changing our frequency. We're raising our vibration. And when we do that, we have to, to, we have to go through the stages. And one of those stages is patience, waiting. I'm looking at you picking up some new challenges in your life. This is things popping up that you're having to learn to, to mitigate, how to deal with. Right? So when we do this, it also it also um, puts more in your plate, more that you have to work through. Right? And that's good. Challenges in this life are a good thing. If you're not challenging yourself, then something is wrong. Right? So this is an energy where we look out into the world and see all the fucked up chaos, and we begin to put our hands in and start helping. Right? We begin to start working whatever that is, volunteering your time, um, doing whatever it is you can to give back. I'm looking at the manifestation as successful. So whatever you're stressing on right now, I'm looking at that's coming to an end soon. Right? So when we get in this energy, we can get frustrated, we can get sad, we can get depressed because our life is, is in chaos. Because things are, are wrong in your life, they don't feel right. right. So in order to make it through this energy, we must call upon the magician in us. The ma magician that lies deep inside here. The witch, the healer. We must ma wake that energy up inside of us so that we can become the magician. Right? We have to understand how does energy work? How does the energy in my body work? How, do my, how does my mind work? How do my emotions work? All right, and we learn to, to mitigate that and navigate that. I'm looking right on the other side of this. I'm looking at the king energy. All right, so this is learning how to deal with things emotionally, psychologically, so that we can begin, we can ascend the throne. Through this ascension process, you are going from a place on the bottom level up. So things change. Things are going to get chaotic, right? But when they do, they balance out. This is the energy that you will find yourself in, sitting on the throne of your own life in control, not being influenced by others, stable emotionally, psychologically. I'm looking at the six. I'm looking at the six sideways coming over the reeds. So the six is the parent energy, all right? The six is shaped like a pregnant woman. This is coming in sideways. So there's some type of imbalance with a feminine. My solar plexus is going off. So it's a it's an energy that's a feminine energy in your life. There is something that's out of balance that we need you to bring into balance. I'm looking at an ending to some type of situation. I'm looking at the death card. Right? So whether that's a relationship ending or you setting healthy boundaries with, with a, a mother, sister, cousin, this could be a boss, co-worker, whatever that is for you. Like, there needs to be a death of some situation, some relationship in your life. I'm also looking at Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy um, is, a, is a very tricky energy to navigate. Most uh, Scorpios, they have a really shallow uh, level of, of emotions, right? That's just the way that the design is read. So what we learn to do is we learn to turn inward to that and, and get in touch with our emotions on a new level, something that you haven't experienced before. This is also a closed heart chakra is what I'm looking at. So things happen to you when you were younger, right? And this is when we get older, we find ourselves in a place that where we were never taught how to heal our traumas. We were never taught how to, to heal the relationships in our life. 
right? So but some relationships are too far gone and we have to walk away. There needs to be a death to it. When this happens, I'm looking at Gemini energy. I'm looking at a balance that's going to be taking place. This is where we learn to get in the flow of time and we learn to balance our work with our personal relationships, with our spiritual growth, right? The water also represents the emotional space. This is learning to really feel through your feelings. I'm looking at the three is off to the side in the past. So there's some type of inner child wound that needs to heal. Some, something that happened to you when you were a child is still unhealed, right? So this is where we want to turn to the universe, turn to your higher self, turn to Akasha, turn to your spirit guides. And we learn to heal these aspects of ourself that, so that it will give birth to a new version of you. It will give birth to the God or goddess inside of you. We learn to channel that bad bitch energy. And I'm not speaking on gender. That's both male and female. Right? We learn how to, how to become the highest version of ourself. And that does not mean people pleasing or dancing around other people's feelings. Right? That means confronting our feelings, confronting the personal, uh, the personal relationships that we have and bringing those into balance. A lot of healing comes from this. This is why it's being focused because there's some type of relationship that's out of balance in your life. I'm looking at your history in your past, right? It's left you scarred. There's things that have happened that have less left you emotionally unavailable. This must be brought into balance. And we do this by healing our past. And then we learn how to delete those files. You must quit telling yourself the same story over and over again about what happened to you as a child you must learn to rewrite those memories and then we delete that shit so that they're not part of you anymore all right we need to also remember that his it says history history is just his story right all the history that you were taught about this place is wrong everything they fucking lied to you about every single aspect of your life so at this point in our life we learn to uncover our true history we start to dig, we do our own research, right? That way we put together the, the puzzle pieces that are strewn all across the board. I'm also looking at an energy where it might be a situation whether you're with somebody that you're not in love with anymore or you're having failed relationship after failed relationship. All right, this is coming in upside down. Right? So it's important that you know that you are not fated to be alone. Right? If you find yourself in a place of isolation, in a place where you're not going out into public, that needs to change. Right? That isolation is good at a certain time in the healing process, but then it becomes completely toxic especially if you're talking about years of, of being single or being alone. What most people do is they block out the world of new people, of new relationships, and they hold on to things like family and they, they stay stuck you know, without ever meeting new people because you're spending your time with your toxic family members instead of going out into the world, starting a new life and, and starting new relationships. This is what we need to bring into balance this month. I'm looking at check boxes so maybe you're filling out some type of paperwork All right. this also encourages us to lighten the load right? to, to take away those expectations that we've placed on ourselves they are false chains you do not need anyone's energy relying on you so much to the point where we cannot deliver whatever that is they want this is also being in a relationship and not getting what you're wanting out of the relationship I'm looking at some type of games that's being played with you. So whether this is a personal relationship or whether this is your partner, there needs to be some investigation. And if you're, you're with a partner that's playing games with you, well, then you're not with the right partner. If you're with a partner that has cheated on you, lied to you, 
um, any type of, of toxic narcissistic behavior like that and you're trying to work past that it's not gonna work it's not because if they've done it to you once they will do it again right so we need to understand that when we see red flags that pop up in our relationships it's time to understand the message and move on you're not supposed to stay in those relationships you're trying to make something work that's never gonna work right I'm looking at some type of watching energy. I'm looking at somebody watching you. This could also be like the ops sitting there watching your every move or analyzing what you're doing on social media. This is also you looking out into the world, getting on new apps like TikTok. TikTok is one of the most powerful social media apps out there. The algorithm is unparalleled to anything else out there. If you're only on Facebook, you are missing out on a wealth of information. All right, it's the most advanced algorithm in the world. And when you begin to use that search engine and start searching the things that you're interested in, that algorithm will, will generate more and more content. Video content is much easier to learn from instead of just pictures. Right? Think of like Facebook post is pictures. That's more of a low vibration. We want high vibrational information, all right? Not from anywhere else except for where, from your perspective, all right? So we learn to, to seek that out in the world. Right now there's information that you are meant to learn, but it's up to you to teach yourself. I'm looking at, at moving around, I'm looking at moving from like one place to another or some type of some type of of move is needed. Something that hasn't happened yet. Make sure that you're if you've been wanting to move, this is your confirmation that you need to fucking move. All right. I'm also looking at on top of the move, there's gonna be also um, information that you need to learn. All right, this is the this represents learning new gifts and abilities we teach ourselves our psychic gifts and abilities right you, i was never um taught as a child any of this i taught myself right so we have to be our own teacher this is where the true power comes from in this place is where you are your own spirit guide as we learn to embrace that responsibility we don't have time for anything else but learning all right, so if we're, you're at a point right now where you want things to change in your life, but it's not happening, it's because there's something else that's meant for you to learn, something that you're missing out on. I'm looking at Pisces energy. I'm looking at the moon. The moon speaks on an evolution of the soul. Or the progression of the soul where you're at in this lifetime All right i'm looking at there's some type of binding that's taken place All right so if you feel like you're bound and you don't have the ability to 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 move to to advance yourself then we have to do whatever it takes to break those chains these binds come in the form of stories that we tell ourselves excuses that we make fear that we let propagate inside of our mind and control our decisions but if you look closely all she has to do is back up to that sword and cut herself free this is the challenge that lies ahead we're, put, we're focusing on your personal freedom whether this is um, like a court case or whether because I'm looking at the justice card so whether this is like a court case or an, a, a relationship that needs to end in your life, all right? I'm looking at when you make a decision, I'm looking at justice will be yours. Whatever situation you're trying to overcome, you will achieve that. But it's done through five. It's done through loss and chaos, loss and conflict. We must go into the fire to rise from the ashes anew. I'm also looking at a fast-paced energy moving towards you. So this is like getting in your car and, and moving or whether this is like getting in a car, go looking for a job or whether this is driving over to your friend's house to tell them that you have to end the relationship, whatever that is for you. 
Alright, we need to pull the trigger on that. We need to approach life in a different way. I'm looking at the Knight of Swords, which is a fast-paced energy. So this is um, where we put constant work and effort on elevating our situation, elevating our consciousness. All right. All right, guys, listen, the rest is beyond the veil. I'm going to end the reading there. I said, if you guys liked the reading and it resonated with you and you want to book a personal session, I would cover every aspect of your life. I would also give you the divine blueprint on how to remove all the trauma from your body at one time. Right? 